when I was growing up, my favorite thing to bake was either, <laughs> well, three things, three things that I really, really loved to make when I was a kid. Um, starting from a really young age, I would make chocolate cake a lot. <laughs> I probably made chocolate cake at least once a week. Ditto brownies. Um, the third thing that I really liked to make when I was a kid was pizza. Making dough, good dough, is so easy and so satisfying. Um, and then with pizza, you can put whatever on there that you want. So it's always a little bit different. Um, although I, I gather my family probably got a little bit of cook pizza, maybe. <laughs> Since I made it pretty much every week. My mom and my father cook all the time. They love food. Um, one of my fondest memories as a kid was that one of them would make bread every weekend. And so there was always fresh made homemade bread in our house. I was diagnosed with, with celiac disease, uh, I guess when I was 33 or 34 years old. Uh, celiac disease is an autoimmune disease. Um, it's a sensitivity to a protein called gluten that's found in uh, certain grains. Primarily gluten is found in wheat, rye, and barley. Uh, the protein um, causes an autoimmune reaction in the small intestine, in the duodenum, which is the first section of the small intestine which is uh, the primary place of absorption of a lot of nutrients. Um, and so what happens with this autoimmune reaction is that the absorptive surface of the small intestine is destroyed. Um, normally, the small intestine has lots of little finger-like projections called villi that increase the absorptive surface. And if a celiac uh, person is exposed to gluten, the immune response actually destroys that intestinal surface and disrupts absorption. And since, you know, really the duodenum is the primary place for absorption of fats and proteins and a lot of vitamins, uh, what happens is that celiac people can become malnourished if they're exposed to gluten. When I was diagnosed with celiac disease, I had a really really mixed reaction because in part I was so relieved um, ever since I could remember I just had so many stomach aches um, I just remember growing up and kind of thinking that you know at some point thinking that you know it was totally normal just to have a stomach ache all the time when I first learned that I had celiac disease, I stopped baking for a while. I stopped baking my own cookies and breads. So when I did start experimenting again with baking, it took me, it took me several months of trial and error to find recipes that I liked or even not even just to find recipes that I liked, but to be able to look at a recipe and discern just from the ingredient list whether it would come out well. So the first really successful gluten-free thing I ever baked was uh, a cake. Um, and it was, you know, a really lovely tea cake. It reminded me of something my mom used to make when I was little. This cake, though, was really good. It was light and it was fluffy and, you know, it had some lemon zest in it and it had a really nice taste to it. And I put some um, homemade raspberry jam that my mom made between the two layers of the cake and sprinkled it with some confectionery sugar. And it was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Hi, my name is Abby Crawshaw and I'm a gluten-free baker.